John Schreyer is no stranger to the Republican Party. He was a youth coordinator back during the Reagan years, served as the acting banking commissioner under Governor Whitman, and was elected president of the Passaic County Republican Organization just last summer, which is why he made headlines recently when he wrote that as an openly gay man, he did not feel at home in his own party. John Treyer joins us now. Welcome. Did not feel at home or still do not feel at home? Well, did not feel at home based on the tenor of last year's campaign. Um, I felt sometimes it was a little bit harsh when it came to uh, issues of gay Americans. Who was harsh? Well, I think the Republican platform was harsh. I don't think necessarily Governor Romney was harsh. But uh, the platform, I, I think, spoke to a day that is, is no longer here. A lot of people say party platforms, they're written, then they're quickly forgotten. You don't subscribe to that notion, obviously. Well, it's very, very important for, um, I think, gay Americans to feel as though they're part of the process. And um, it, it, it took... Uh, President Obama four years to evolve on the issue of gay marriage and uh, my hope is that you know the Republican Party will start that evolution as well. When you look at the party leadership right now mm -hmm. when you see I guess it's something of a scramble do you mm -hmm. have any favorites do you have people you'd like to see ascend to national leadership positions people that you think would help you accomplish some of your goals? Well, what concerns me so much is that the, um, you know, we have written off the entire Northeast and West Coast in the last um, three or four election cycles. And I think that's not good for the party. I mean, there are clearly a number of um, Republicans and independents who, who, who favor the Republican Party have just been left out of the whole process. Well, and in Passaic County, you wrote about the lack of success that right. you've had in your own home county there. Well, yeah. there it's not just because of an issue of um, gay issues. It's more of an issue of you know, the changing demographics. Well, you know, with much larger Hispanic and Arab populations. Uh, we don't even compete in the in the cities anymore. Um, African Americans, we've we've totally written off, and we need to change the way we view our citizens. So a national trend on a national level of moving away. Maybe that's not the right phrase of of not moving away, but not actually engaging. Those groups is also at home here in, in your county and elsewhere? In my county particularly. And um, we, as I said, you know, now we're at the point where our suburban voters can't come anywhere close to matching the numbers that come out of the urban areas. So how do you do anything about that? Well, you, I mean, have you already started in Passaic County? And more importantly, you, well, you were elected yes, as well, an openly gay man. Right. They knew that when you ran, right. that they were electing an openly gay man. So doesn't Correctly. that tell you something about, about the leadership of your own party? Um, I think my party looks to um, looked at my experience and what I could bring to the table. And yes, they were open-minded enough to say, "Hey, listen, this person is, is you know a, a gay Republican, but most of all, he's a Republican who's had experience and can help us reach our goals." Mm -hmm. um, I've really done a lot of outreach, and that seems to be our major goal for this year. We have a very popular governor running for re-election, but a and governor who has not bought into the notion of same-sex marriage. Well, you know, I, I believe what uh, Mayor Koch said, that we agree with me nine out of 12 issues, vote for me. When you vote for 12 out of 12, <laughs> go yeah, see the psychiatrist. psychiatrist. Yeah, exactly. I think that's a very, very uh, poignant uh, and, and funny point. You know, I don't agree with, with Governor Christie on this issue, but I, I hope that he evolves on that issue because it's an issue that's, that's generational and it is, it is turning off a lot of younger voters who see gay marriage as a natural uh, point for for the Republican Party. The strategy in this state has, you know, in other states they put it on the ballot, mm -hmm. same-sex marriage. Right. A lot of the gay rights groups we spoke to here said, no, we don't want to do that. And I guess what Steve Goldstein told me before he uh, left the position of leadership that he had mm -hmm. within the gay community, that they wouldn't go down that road because it was too expensive to try to buy the advertising time for the campaigns in the New York and Philadelphia markets. So if you're kind of locked in like that, how would you achieve your goals in this state? Well, I think it's very important to reach out to legislators and, and the governor's office. And maybe there should be a, a new um, uh, study on civil unions to see if they really do work. As a CPA, I know firsthand that um, you know, certain states recognize marriage performed in other states and other countries, but they don't recognize civil unions you know, as, a, you know, as a unit. So, so you'd be satisfied with a simple civil union law having parity and, and equal no, I legal rights? No, I think, I think we should have equality. Um, and I think, you know, civil rights is just a, a fundamental issue. And it's what started the Republican Party, you know, back in the 1800s. Are you optimistic that you can achieve this? That you can change your party around? That the next presidential candidate I am will be somebody you can, you can not only endorse, but somebody you can believe in? Um, 
I'm very hopeful because I think there's so many people who who believe as I do, and we've been our message has been drowned out by, you know, ultra conservatives from you know the South and the West and Midwest who don't really share our values here. I mean, we've always been an area of the country that's you know believe very much in the right of the individual, and that's what the Republican Party should stand for. So you know, I, I believe and I respect people's religious views, but. Please don't impose your religious views on the rest of us. And I think that's very important. John Trayer, I have to leave it there. Thank you for coming in, sir. Thank you so much.